March 1945. With the 9th Armored and the 99th, our mission is to take the bridge of Remagen. We get across, the last German resistance will crumble. I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well, just watch over him, Paul. Oh, oh, what are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I got no room for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarine. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Get out. Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I said get out! God damn it! My orders were to fall back, but I just couldn't leave them. I told my men we were going to hold this pass until reinforcements got here. But they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. <sighs> you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this. Is dead. Then make that mean something. No sacrifice too great. You don't know anything about sacrifice. How about this? Honorable discharge paper signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. But I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Crazy ain't the half of it. I fall in. Sergeant? I said fall in, goddammit. If you want in, now's the time. Get the fuck out of my way. Well, I guess the gang's all here. Not all of us. Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Yes, Corporal. If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. There she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. We get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Oh, God! Oh.
Friends. Engineers. Ready? Come on. 
Let's go! You two! Defuse the charges below the main structure! Cops are falling back! Stay low and keep sharp!
Charles Howard! On me! Move! Now! Focus suppressor fire! Drop position! Spot it! Get to those trenches! <laughs>
bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. Just made history, fellas. First across the road. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as one. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs, including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on. I get the feeling it's deserted. Take out your camera. The world's got to know. <laughs> they had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. had murdered our boys in cold blood and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. Then that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Sussman! Oh! 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 
Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I'd done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. thing that keeps you going on that long march and that's having your brothers beside you when history called you answered from all walks of life you came to defend peace and freedom i thank you and the world thanks you wherever your path takes you know this you will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes Right, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> oh, you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of him, boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome any time. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. I just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. The dream was different last night. 
This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see him coming. But you showed me how to fight him. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me.